Hey, what's happening guys? We're back with another new video today and this one is in request to a viewer, Alex Fisherman, who enjoyed the video on Arduino keyboard emulation and if you haven't seen that, check the description down below. I'll put a link to it. But he wanted to know if you could emulate a mouse as well. And the answer to that question is yes, you can. So we're going to do that today. Uh, we are using this Pro Micro here, you need to use a Pro Micro, a Due, or uh, the Leonardo, uh, one of the Arduinos that has the built-in USB on the chip. Uh, your Uno, your Mega, your Nano, uh, Pro Mini, they just don't do it because they don't have the, uh, the built-in emulation on the chip. Anyway, so how are we going to emulate a mouse? Well, we're going to use this little cheap ass thumbstick joystick here which has an X and a Y movement and a click so let us zoom in on this bad boy and see if we can focus in there we go all right so you see our connections from the top ground plus 15 volts. I think that's a misprint. I think it's probably plus five volts. Then we have VRX, VRY, and SW for switch. Now let's take a look at the Pro Mini, or yeah, Pro Micro. We have the ground plugged into ground we have the VCC plugged into VCC. We have uh, Y plugged into A0 and X plugged into A1. Those are our analog inputs because we're going to be getting an analog value. Just think of that joystick as two potentiometers. And then over here in digital pin nine, we have our switch. And really that's it for the hardware of this. Okay. Okay, here's our code for the Arduino mouse emulation by Learn Electronics. And this is based on an original sketch I found by Jim Limblom. And he wrote that back in 2012. So I had to adapt it a little bit because he was missing some really key points like this one. If you don't include mouse.h, and yes, you must capitalize that M, well, it's no bueno. All right, so that's the only library we need, the mouse.h. Then we have some variables. Horror's pin equals a zero. Well, let's switch that around because uh, he had those incorrect as well. That's how it goes. Select our vertical pin a zero. Select pin is on digital nine and then we have our vertical zero and horizontal zero, which is, is grabbing those initial values in the setup. So we know where the center point is. And then we have vert value and horse value. And that stores the current value. Then we have an adjustable sensitivity and our mouse click flag. Down in setup, I always begin with serial begin 9600 because I like to print out the variables to the serial monitor while I'm working on a sketch so that I can see what they're doing. Excellent debugging tool. Then we have three pin mode statements and they are all inputs. Then we're going to set our select pin high and we're going to wait a second for everything to settle down. Once it does we're going to grab our zero points and move on to the program. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our current values our vert value is analog read of the vertical pin minus the vertical zero. That gives us our offset. Same for the horizontal pin. This is just my debugging uh, stuff going on here. You can use it if you like. Now we're going to use the mouse move command. And I put up here what the arguments are. The first one is X position. The second one is Y position. And the third one is wheel position. So yeah, if you have enough inputs you can move all three of those things. 
And just keep in mind that the mouse move is always relative to the last position. So we're going to start by saying if vert value not equal zero, meaning it's anything but zero, zero, then we're going to do a mouse move, a zero horizontal move. Then we're going to do vertical value divided by sensitivity. That is our Y position. And we don't have enough inputs to deal with the wheel, so the wheel stays at zero. Same with the horizontal value, as long as it's not zero, we're going to move along the X axis. Now, in my particular case, this particular joystick, which is labeled HXJ35, reversed the uh, X values for me. So to put them back where I wanted them, I multiply it by negative one. That turns my negatives into a positives and my positives into a negative. And you thought you'd never use that algebra. No movement of the Y position and no movement of the wheel position. Then we are going to do a digital read of the select pin. And if it's zero, which means it's clicked, we are going to make the mouse flag equal one and mouse press mouse left. Otherwise, we set the flag to zero and it is mouse release. Now, those are not the only commands available. Okay, there's also left click, right click, and all click, and that gives you the press and the release all in one go. Um, just go to the Arduino.cc site and you can find more information about that there. Alrighty, so let's take a look at it in action. Okay, so I'm holding the old joystick here and I move down, cursor moves down, I move my thumb to the left, left, right, up, click, and it should also work down here in happy land, right? Click, click, and that's it, man. Uh, one final note. When this is running, this has control of your mouse. So if I try and move my mouse, I'm using the mouse right now. As you can see, my thumb is not moving. But if I do this, I have no control with the mouse. It keeps going back over. So you may want to add a mouse begin, mouse dot begin, and a mouse dot end. Again, there's more info for that in the Arduino.cc website. Now, our next giveaway coming up. I think we'll do it on Memorial Day. If you're from outside the US, that is May 31st. And I think we'll give away a power supply. Now look at this one here. I mean, this is pure Chinesium, but it's within my price range. If you guys are interested in this for our next giveaway, leave a comment below. Or if you like something else, comment on that. But let's keep it under uh, 75 US pesos. All right, I got kids. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up, share, comment. But don't make mean comments. If you make mean comments, I'm just gonna erase them. I'll see you next time.